here are some few clips I took while traveling from Hanoi to Sapa via sleeper bus. We booked our bus ticket via Klook para hassle-free. And you know what? The day before our trip, we received a message from the bus line na na-upgrade yung reservation namin. So, bonga! The trip from Hanoi to Sapa takes approximately 5 to 6 hours. And for this sleeper bus na love yung theme, it comes with free water, comfy blanket, they also have this USB outlet, a seat belt for safety, and two stopover for toilet break. And by the way, you need to take off your shoes before entering this bus. They provide plastic for your shoes so you don't need to worry about it. And then, pag naman nasa bus stop, there is a crate full of slippers that you can use. When we arrived in Sapa, it was 5 degrees Celsius. I was a bit shocked so we decided to just take a rest that afternoon allowing our body to adjust in this very cold weather. You know, coming from the Philippines na hindi sanay sa gantong weather. The next morning, we just had our quick breakfast sa hotel and then diretso na sa tour. Yung hotel na din namin yung nag-arrange ng aming service car. Hi everyone, my name is Helen and welcome to another Vietnam vlog. This time I'm gonna take you to the beautiful and very cold weather of Sapa, Vietnam. Right now we are here in front of the lake and it's 5 degrees Celsius right now. But good thing, nagpakita naman yung lake. Kasi kahapon, pagdating namin, as in totally wala, puro fog. So ngayon, ninanam nam namin ng ate ko. Come here. Show naman your outfit. <laughs> so this is our OOTD for today. We're going to Glassbridge right now. So hinintay lang namin yung aming sunto. Join me guys as we explore and experience this beautiful and super chilly weather of Saba, Vietnam. Wala na uli siya. Alam mo, buti nag-video na kami kanina dito sa lake kasi sobrang fuck na niya ngayon. Sapa is a place of natural beauty with cascading rice terraces, misty valleys, and majestic peaks. It is also a cultural hub home to several ethnic minority groups with unique customs and traditions. Okay, so you know what I'm After mong mag shuffle, so sa kaya na twice. Yeah. Mm. So after mag shuffle kanina, dito kami tinigil. So nag elevator kami, and then from here, ayon may shuffle. So sa kaya patay na isa. Up. Up. Okay, up daw. Taas na B. The Sapa Glass Bridge is located at Okoy Ho Pass, which is less than 20 kilometers from Sapa downtown. The entrance fee here is 500,000 Vietnamese dollars. This bridge is 60 meters long and 5 meters wide, and it is made from special high standard tempered glass.
And even though we went here on a foggy and very cold day, but still we are able to enjoy this experience and took a lot of photos and videos. So ito yung taas. Hi! Ito yung taas ng glass bridge. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Tutula lang ako. <laughs> ano ito pinuntahan natin? Bottom glass bridge. Bottom glass. Okay. Ay, nerf! The glass bridge. Bottom bridge. Glass bottom bridge. Guys, google nyo na lang. <laughs> Malalaki na kayo. Eh, google nyo na lang. Actually, meron pa dyan sa site na yun. Hindi yeah. tayo pupunta dyan. Mas mataas yan. It's 11 feet. Okay. Going down there. After our tour, we drop off here at Aloha Coffee and Fast Food, and this restaurant is just across the Sapa Lake. And you know what? Ito agad na po cute and fluffy na dog yung nagwalkum sa amin dito sa resto. Hi! Tumabi siya sa amin the whole time na kumakain kami and napaka sweet ng aso na to. Nung dumating kami sa resto, wala kang ibang customer. So, nasolo namin yung place while enjoying their welcome drink. Ito nga yung tea na niserved earlier. And then, we also tried their egg coffee. It's rich and creamy. And balance yung lasa ng coffee and the custard from the egg and condensed milk. So, instantly love this. And honestly, it tastes like dessert. And then, we also ordered tenderloin steak and Vietnamese steak. Okay naman yung lasa, tender yung meat, and generous sila sa sauce and side dishes. Strong yung lasa ng herbs and spices na gustong gusto namin dalawa ni Ate Lassie. Hi guys! So it's 2pm here and tapos na kaming mag-lunch. Uh, pupunta na kami ulit sa hotel. Actually, dun lang yun, across the street. And nakakatawa, hindi ko pala nasabi kanina. Yung hotel namin, tapat lang siya ng Sapa Lake. Kahapon di ko siya na-appreciate kasi sobrang fog. At ngayon, sobrang fog na naman. So yan, yeah. um, buti kanina. Paglabas namin, uh, may araw. Kita na yung lake. We're going back sa hotel and mag-rest. Yeah. Hanggang dun lang yung energy namin ngayong araw na to. Isang, isang tourist spot lang per day. Kasi sobrang lamig. Thank you guys for joining us today. See you tomorrow! day here in Sapa. Ilang layers yung outfit natin. Kung mapapansin nyo, ginamit ko na naman itong jacket ko kahapon. Kasi, yung coat ko, dahil nakailang layer tayo dito, hindi na siya kasha. So, ito yung medyo malaki. Yan. So, ito yung sinuot ko ngayon. Pero, as a Filipino, maliligo pa rin tayo. Kahit gano pa yun kalamig. Before going here, alam na namin na nagmi-maintenance yung fancy pan. Sadly, we can't ride sa cable car sa fancy pan. Yun pa naman yung nilulook forward ko dito. But anyway, that's life. There's so many unexpected things happen. So, that's alright. Today, pupunta kami sa Katkat Village. I'll update you later.
And by the way, before anything else, you know naman me, I always bring my doll whenever I go. So ngayon, sa Vietnam uh, travel naman, dala ko si Anna. Kasi ito yung twinning naman dalawa. Look. Minus the the scarf. All of her outfit. Ako ang may gawa. Pahiko. Ito yung kasama natin sa ating Vietnam vlog. Hi guys! So nakalabas na kami sa hotel. And ito yung view. Ay, well, actually walang view. Puro fog. Ayan. Buti kahapon medyo may napicturean tayo ng content ni sa lake. Kasi ngayon talagang as in wala. Hindi mo siya ma-appreciate. Pero hanap tayo ng tempo na kita yung lake. Promise. Hindi tayo aalis ng wala tayong maraming picture dyan. Anong araw siya ngayon? 12.39. 12.39 na Can we go to Moana first? Uh, cat cat, you need. Now, go to cat cat uh, when you have bike in Mula. Ah, okay. Entrance fee is 150,000 Vietnamese dong. And then after we got our tickets, we rented a motorbike to take us to the Cat Cat waterfalls. It's a wise decision since it started to rain and yeah, it's a bit challenging for us to walk. Cat Cat Village is the nearest ethnic minority village to Sapa Town, located at the bottom of the Mong Hua Valley. This village is considered a great place for trekking, sightseeing, and experiencing the way of life in the mountainous area. Kaikat village was founded in the middle of the 19th century by the local Hmong ethnic. In the early 20th century, the French discovered the village and developed it as a vacation resort. The village owns a majestic waterfall whose French name is Katskat. Therefore, the village then was named after the fall. Kaling kami doon, and then andito yung daan. Kapunta na kami doon sa bridge. Look ko. Oh. I saw a lot of stalls selling handicrafts and colorful traditional clothing. You can hire costumes here while touring around Kat Kat Village. The most interesting thing you should not miss is visiting Kat Kat Waterfall. From a distance, you can hear the buzzing of the fall, which sounds like welcoming song of Kat Kat Village. Kat Kat Village attracts tourists not only by its unspoiled natural beauty, but also by the unique cultural features of the Hmong people. In addition to rice cultivation, the Hmong people in Kat Kat Village also preserve their traditional crafts such as weaving, 
knitting household appliances, carving silver, and forging agricultural tools. Coming to Katak Village, tourists will have a chance to visit the exhibition area of traditional handicraft products. Tapos na kami, nag-picture na ate. Kabalik na kami dun sa aming motor. Sa aming service. One of the peaks of Sapa, there is the Moana Sapa Cafe. It is a very popular tourist attraction and a place where there are many views of mountains and forests in the nearby area. But since mafog pa rin ang araw na pumunta kami, wala kami nakitang ganung view. Pero in-enjoy na lang namin ni yung structures dito. The huge sculpture with her hands open is the Moana Girl statue. It is a 60 meter tall and one of the highlights of the cafe. Many believe that the statue was inspired by the Disney character Moana, who is famous for her courage and strong spirit. Aside from the statue, the meditating hand is another impressive attraction of the Moana Sapa. This hand is known as the golden hand by the locals. Moreover, it looks like it is floating in the air, especially on the misty days. Ingat ka. I ilikod mo pa ng ilikod. Umatras ka pa. Yan, para makaupo ka dyan. Huwag mong bibitawan yung bato. Huh? Yan. Tay tama na nagalaw. <laughs> nagalaw yung puste. <laughs> Tapos na kaming magpicture ni Ate Lassie dito sa Moana. And then um I guess uuwi na din kami. Tama na pag uli. <laughs> Our 
fourth day here in Sapa, Vietnam. And wala pa ring makita. <laughs> so lunch time na ngayon. Uh, hanap lang kami ng restaurant. Mart ng Ate Lasi. And, bibili uli kami sa isang Mart dito. Tara, bili tayong KitKat. KitKat. Oo, oh, may isang million pa ako dito. Huh? Hoy, Kimi! Let's go! <laughs> Katakot tumawid. Let's go! Hi guys! Good morning! So today is our last day here in Sapa, Vietnam. And ngayon, wala naman kaming itinerary ni Ate Lassie. We just wanted to walk around. And hopefully, makita na namin ulit yung Sapa Lake. <laughs> Kasi itong mga nakaraan, sobrang fog niya talaga. Even kahapon, so walang picture sa Sapa Lake kahapon. Siguro magtitingin na din kami ng ibang pasalubong. Yeah. Okay, let's go! Wow, finally! Hanap tayo ng tiyempo na kita yung lake. Promise! Hindi tayo aalas ng wala tayong maraming picture dyan. Nested at the heart of Sapa Town, Sapa Lake is a cherished haven for local and international travelers. There is a nice walkway you can stroll around, and when the sun is out, the reflections are incredible, and the scenery reminds us of Lake Kong. Fried rice with beef and fried rice with chicken. See, mura lang siya. Fifty. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. Thank you. Thank you.
the last place we visited that day was Sapa Town Center and the building next to it, the famous Sun Plaza. Vietnam. We are going to sleep early kasi uh, maaga din yung trip namin pabalik ng Hanoi. So, nag-pack na agad kami. Before I'm gonna wrap this Sapa vlog, I'm gonna ask my sister, sa mga napuntahan natin dito sa Sapa, alin yung favorite mo? Probably just the lake. The lake. So, super lapit lang naman. Sa so, yung feels niya. Para siyang may pagka-Europe. Yeah. Europe. That's um, right. Komo ba? Yeah. Lake Komo. Lake Komo. Ikaw? Ikaw ano favorite mo? Yung trip natin sa Kat Kat Village. Kasi ako mahilig ako sa mga period dramas, di ba? So, yung nandun tayo, feel, alam mo yung feel na feel ko talaga. And plus points pa kasi may ano, may background music sila ah. na nipi play. Ah. We're very nature girl. Yung mga napuntahan namin, very nature talaga. The food naman. Alam ko sa mga nakainan natin, na try natin ang mga restaurant dito, yung uh, pinaka nagustuhan mo. Baka gusto mo din yun. Alam? Yung chicken sa Cirrus. Cirrus. Yeah. Kasi medyo na overpower na ako ng maraming noodles. Mm -hmm. Pero na-miss ko yung chicken. chicken. Isa din sa mga mamimiss ko dito sa Vietnam. Dito sa Dangkowan, miss ko dito yung kanilang strawberry jam. Yes. <laughs> Every morning. <laughs> Akala ko maubos na. Gulo na ulit. May refill ulit. Every morning may ganun kami. Strawberry jam. So kung mapapansin nyo, um, yung talaga mga tourist spot lang yung mga ni-vlog ko. Kasi yung everyday din namin ng ati Lassie, talaga nakahiga lang kami dito. Nakakatamad pag malamig. Pag malamig. Nakakwento mo. Hindi pa. The main attraction kasi okay. is the Fransipan. The Fransipan. Pero one month silang naka... naka... Ano, close. close for maintenance. They're preparing for the Chinese New Year. Pero nung kasi nag-book ako ng flight papunta dito, hindi ko alam na mag... Hindi pa nila ni... May... Oo, na, maintenance. Na may maintenance. So, hinihintay ko talaga mag-December. Kasi hanggang December lang yung calendar. Tapos nung mag-January na, ba't hindi ko na mapindot yung mm -hmm. date na nandito tayo? Yung pala na kaano siya. Uh -huh. Anyway, ano naman, satisfied naman ako kasi yes. nagpakita na yung yes. rate kanina. <laughs> Nakita niya din dun sa vlog ko kanina. Talagang, ah, niiyak-iyak ako kasi... First time, no? Na so, naging clear ilang, yung sky. Ilang days tayo dito? Five days kami dito okay. sa Sapa. Mm -hmm. Pero, kanina lang, naging clear yung skies. As in, nagpakita yung araw. So, thank you, thank you so much. I'm gonna wrap my Sapa vlog here. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us in our Sapa adventure. And also, thank you for watching our previous vlog, the Hanoi Vietnam vlog. And please stay tuned because mayroon pa yung part 2. Because tomorrow we're going back to Hanoi. We're going to stay there for a few more days. So yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!